here at Keswick's Wise and Well Center for Healthy Living in Baltimore, Maryland. Today I'm going to th take you through a workout um, using heavier resistance, really focusing on strengthening both upper body and lower body. The idea is to follow along with me, do the same repetitions around the same time, and then as you build your strength, you can either increase resistance, you can increase the number of sets, um, whatever works best for you, no matter where you're starting, you can follow along, get a really good strengthening workout um, with these exercises coming up, both for upper body and lower body. Right now, I'm gonna be going through the workout with a uh, pair of 10 pound dumbbells, a 30 pound dumbbell, and a 20 pound bar. Again, use whatever you've got as you get stronger. If you need to purchase something else, again, challenging yourself is really what's gonna help you um, reach your goals and progress as you see um, fit. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with alternating dumbbell press. I'm gonna be doing it down from the floor on this mat. If you have a bench, if you already work out, um, go ahead and I'd recommend using that, but you're welcome to work from the floor just like I'm gonna do. Again, whatever you have at home, the idea is to get stronger and get back on a workout routine or try something new that you weren't currently doing to challenge yourself. So we're gonna start with the 10 pound dumbbells, just like a chest press you might be familiar with. I'm gonna keep my knees bent, feet flat on the floor, palms are facing away, and I'm gonna do alternating, one arm at a time, pushing up towards the ceiling, we're coming back down, up to the floor, and then the opposite side. And we're gonna continue this pattern alternating that chest press, exhaling on the way up. Good, I'm gonna take you to about 12 repetitions, so do them with me. Reach your breath, especially if you're using a heavier weight. Try not to arch your back, keep those hips down on the mat or the bench that you're using. We're gonna go two more each side, pushing straight up, should be challenging those last three or four if you're using enough resistance. Very good, we'll come back down. Put those back up. Get you back up on your feet. And now I'm gonna pick up a heavier weight. So I'm jumping to my 30 pound dumbbell. Again, do something that's challenging to you. After about eight or nine repetitions, you're challenged to do the last two or three. That's really, really, really where you're gonna build your strength. So again, I'm gonna use this chair. I've got it set up already. Um, something to hold on to, so I'm steady. I'm gonna let my arm hang down. And this is a single arm row, primarily working the back of the shoulder and my back muscles opposite of the alternating dumbbell press that you just did for your chest. So nice posture, knees slightly bent, your back is straight, and we're just gonna pull straight up to the shoulder, keeping my arm in close, elbow going straight back, and coming back down. Breathing during the more challenging phase. Get nice and steady. Looking for a challenge here. Back is straight. And you're likely gonna be able to do more resistance here than some other exercises you're used to. Go three more. One, two, and your third. Simply switch sides, still hold it on for support, good posture. You'll see it from a little bit different angle here. All right, palm turned in and get to work, pulling up next to your shoulder and then straight down, not swinging, not arching. And trying to set a good pace for you to follow along. Faster isn't better, if it's too much resistance and you start to swing, there's gonna be less benefit in that. Two more, one and two. Very good. All right, so we're gonna continue to work the upper body. I'm gonna switch back out to my pair of dumbbells here. Again, you're welcome. You're probably gonna do a heavier resistance here with these upright rows coming up as we continue to work the back of your shoulders and your upper back right here. Um, what I'm gonna ask you to do is keep your arms out in front of you, palms turned back, stand up nice and tall. I'm staying in real close to my chest as I pull straight up to the shoulders and then slowly back down. Pulling straight up and back down. Demonstrating today with the pair of dumbbells you might use if you have that heavier bar like I first mentioned during the workout 
that might be a better fit for you. It's good to vary it. So use dumbbells one day, um, a bar another day, a kettlebell, um, whatever you got, the variation of the same exercise with different equipment is ideal to really strengthen and challenge yourself from day to day. Again, I'm showing you one set. You should really be doing two to three sets, um, anywhere from 10 to 15 repetitions, depending on what your goals are. If you're really looking for strength, more resistance, fewer repetition. Two more. One and two. Very good. So I'm going to keep the same set of weights, pair of dumbbells. We're going to move into a little bit smaller muscle groups, specifically around the shoulders. So what I'm going to have you do is a basic shoulder press. Do it standing up, nice tall posture. Come up about 90 degrees with the arms, bent at the elbow, palms are turned away. And we're going to do alternating again, like we did with the chest press, reaching up above your head, straight up, coming down, shoulder level, and back up, opposite side. Alternating right and left. Exhale on the way up is best. And you could do the seated if you're using heavier weights. You could do both arms at the same time. A different way to vary the same exercise. Always stay in control to not injure yourself. Get the form down first and then focus on additional resistance and building that strength up. We're going to go two more each arm. One and two. Very good. So I'm taking you through relatively quickly, trying to go one exercise to the next. The idea here, work in the larger muscle groups and the smaller muscle groups for upper body, then lower body, getting a pretty good full body strengthening workout in just about 10 minutes or so. As you're doing more sets and reps, it'll take longer. You'll need a little bit more recovery. You may choose to alternate between upper body and lower body, which is fine or alternating a upper body day and a lower body day is you use this routine and start to incorporate more variety and more exercises. All right, so we've got one more upper body exercise to work on today, and that's gonna be an alternating hammer curl. So this is working the smaller muscles, the biceps and the front of the arms. We're gonna keep your elbows in real close, still using my pair of uh, dumbbells. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna turn in your palms up toward your legs, alternate that bicep curl, arm curl across your body, not swinging. And notice how my hand is curling to the opposite shoulder. Exhaling with each turn. If you're using a heavier resistance, you find yourself looking down, try to keep that neck straight, head up. And posture is important. It's better to do 15 correct ones at a certain resistance instead of cheating or swinging your arms with the heavier resistance. Again, faster is not better either. The slower you go, the longer you're getting a workout. Two more on each side. Good. And your upper body's all worked out. So the nice thing here, again, you can do this in a small space at home, you don't have much equipment, um, or if you only have one level of resistance, you can start there and then incorporate more equipment, heavier resistance um, as you need to down the road. So we're gonna switch right into our lower body workout. Um, we're gonna go through some squats using the dumbbells. So I'm actually gonna take these dumbbells and I'm gonna hold them up here near my shoulders. You can actually rest them on if you want and kind of hold a little bit. That's actually what I'm gonna to do to demonstrate. So the uh, more resistance you use, the larger the dumbbell or the weight, um, it becomes a little bit more tricky, so then you might wanna hold it down at your side. If you're using a weighted bar, it could be running right behind um, your neck as long as you're not pulling yourself forward. But from here, you're gonna take a wider stance. If this is gonna be squats, strengthening the larger muscles, hamstrings, quads, um, really important for good functional performance in everyday life. So feet are out wide, real low squat, bending your knees, and then coming back up. Keeping my feet flat, your heels are pressed down against the floor. Going as low as you comfortably can without those knees going forward over your toes. 
Also keeping your back straight. I'm gonna turn a little bit to the side for you to see. These dumbbells on your shoulders really do make a difference. Adds 20, 30, 40 pounds, depending on how much resistance you're using to really create a little bit more power and a little bit more drive with your legs. Let's go ahead and do three more. One, two, three. Very good. Another option here is if you have a single weight, uh, you could always hold this just right in front of your chest, do those same squats um, if that's a better option for you. Okay, so we're gonna continue on. We're gonna work our way a little bit lower. Next, working the calves um, just below your knees. So you can do this. Um, you can always stand on a um, step with your heels hanging off, or if you have a single bench, that would be fine too, a lower one. Um, I'm just gonna demonstrate on the floor, which is most practical for most people. I'm still gonna be holding weights at your side. Again, you're probably gonna be able to do a heavier resistance than some of the previous exercises during this. Most likely those calf muscles in your legs are a little bit stronger and tolerate more resistance. But what we'll do first is feet are about shoulder width apart now, toes straight ahead. You're gonna keep your arms straight. Again, we're working the legs, not the arms. So they're just kind of hanging free. And now you're gonna do heel raises up and slowly back down. Up, you can pause for a moment and back down. type of exercise you can do more repetitions they're going to need more to really strengthen and get trained well in addition to holding the dumbbells like I'm showing you today you could use that weighted bar holding on the um, upper back across your shoulders and turn the side and do five more nice and tall again you're gonna add challenge if you let if you stand on a step and let those heels hang off the back. Three more. One, two, three. Very good. So another variation for these, I'd recommend doing a second round of everything. Um, but for these, I'd recommend turning your heels in a little bit, making more of that V shape. It's gonna isolate a little bit more in the insides of your calves below your knees. So you go through the same calf races up, and slowly down, weights are in your hands, just hanging at your side. Again, it's just adding a few pounds of resistance to those muscles that are used to just moving your body right around. Good, still nice and tall up onto your toes, just pausing for a moment. Five more, one, two, three, four, five. Very good. All right, and that's gonna take us right into a little bit of core work, working around your abdominals, back down on the mat, but still using resistance. So we're back down on the mat, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Again, we're gonna isolate our core and our abdominals, holding a weight though, right on your chest, in close, and now you're gonna do your basic curl that you're probably familiar with. Coming up about shoulder width, or just shoulder amount off of the floor, and then softly back down. Just about enough that someone's fist could sit right below your shoulder blades. Exhaling on the way up. Gonna overlook part of our workout, strengthening our core and abdominals, but really important helps the rest of our workouts, the other areas, strengthening, endurance, aerobic workout, more effective and efficient with a strong core. This resistance here, it's definitely adding a few pounds, a little bit more challenge here. As I continue my curl ups. Let's do three more together. One, two, Three, very good. I'm gonna go right into the next exercise. I'm gonna take the weight, I'll put it back down off to the side. We're finished it for, with this workout. And now we're gonna finish up with some additional work, now a little bit more to the outside of our 
um, abdominal area and our core. So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate going from one knee to the opposite shoulder or elbow, turning that direction. I'm actually going to hold my left hand out to the side, my right hand's just below my neck and the back of my head without pulling, and I'm going to be bringing my left knee in, kind of turn to the side, and then extend out, all while keeping that left leg in the air. I'm also exhaling on the way up, doing this cross crunch for the obliques. type of exercise you're going to probably want to do more like 20 30 or more at a time it's different than the 10 to 15 reps when you're doing that strength workout for upper body and lower body we've got two more one two good and now simply switch side send the other arm out hand behind your head extend and do that cross crunch imagining bringing your elbow and shoulder to the opposite knee, all while keeping the foot in the air. Not to, or make sure not to pull on the neck. You should be feeling it in your abdominals. Three more with me. One, two, three. Very good. So that's a great about 10 to 15 minute strength workout. Again, looking at using heavier resistance, fewer repetitions, so 10 to 15 times. Normally you're gonna to wanna to go through two to three sets, work on strengthening the larger muscle groups first, and then go down into the smaller ones, just like today's workout was designed. As you progress and are able to do more, you might end up splitting up and incorporating other exercise, but splitting this workout into different days where upper body one day, lower body on the next. Just remember, make sure you give a chance for those muscle groups to uh, rest for a day or two in between so you can come back and work even harder the next workout. Thank you so much for joining us. Check out Keswick's YouTube channel for more videos and more support. Thank you.